Mustang, one, two, three, four. The Atomic Cup at Pasco was exciting to say the least. Here Tommy Tucker Fultz spins out the gypsy while Colonel Gardner roars on to a heat, one victory. In the second heat, the Eagles scored a narrow one-second victory over the Atlas, nearly losing it when the engine quit twice. Once in the turn and right at the finish line, the Colonel hit every button in the boat and got a spurt of speed from the nitrous oxide to edge out the Atlas. This had to be one of your life. Uh, how about it, Colonel? Uh, what was it? A turn up here right by the pits, and you got her going again. Is this the same thing that happened uh, as you were coming down the finish straight away? This is right. This is right. It quits. It depends upon how. I tried to keep Atlas Van Line back by not running a very uh, fast straightaway, because he can run very fast. But I was trying to conserve what fuel I pumped in the carburetor. And uh, you care to make a prediction at this point? No, no, it's going to be a real fast final. So uh, right now uh, you'll see uh, Bardall and Budweiser and the Eagle in there. And uh, the other two boats I'm not too sure of right now, but uh, it may be Notre Dame and uh, Gypsy is out, unfortunately. They couldn't get started. I, I wanted uh, the Gypsy and, the, and Tommy Falls, who is a real fine rookie driver. And uh, he had a little tough luck. Uh, he... Uh, practically tore his boat up and ruined his engine trying to get away from another driver on the race course and uh, this in itself is uh, shows the kind of uh, sportsmanship there is in this racing business and it's a shame that uh, he's out of this but uh, he'll be back in Seattle and you can look forward to great things from Tommy and the Gypsy in Seattle. What about
Congratulations, and how do you feel? Well, a little bit tired, but real wonderful when you win a boat race from people like that. The, the greatest competition in the world right there. There's the Bardall, the Budweiser, the noted name. I mean, they're, uh, they're just the greatest competition in the world, and uh, how else can you feel when you beat all of those people? You've beat first-class equipment. Dave, congratulations, and how do you feel at this point? I'm just very happy. What more can you say? <laughs> <laughs> now, the next race is the Diamond Cup, right? No, the next next race is two weeks in Seattle, right? And then, then the Diamond Cup. And then the following week in, in Coeur d'Alene. We'll be home. Good enough. you have anything else to say you might uh, might want to add about uh, maybe the Bardell conking out in the last heat? Well, no, I, I, I think it would have been a case of uh, one of us having to lose an engine. Uh, there just wasn't any other way. We went into the race uh, uh, this way. Uh, my boss, Dave, here, and my crew chief, uh, when we go in the water, if the boat's riding properly, uh, we throw all the marbles in one basket and go for broke. And uh, fortunately, the boss doesn't mind if we break up his equipment. So this is the way we go. He likes to win. We like to win. And we'll win one and lose one. And uh, But when we uh, get up to Coeur Lane, we hope to take the Diamond Cup. This is our, the big one we want. <laughs> well, the water must have been pretty good because you set a new record today, a new Atomic Cup record. I'm glad you said that. I wish I'd had somebody out in the boat with me to prove it. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite a happy crew of the Miss Eagle Electric. All the other camps coming over and congratulating them. The crew doesn't stop, though. They're still working, washing the boat off, putting the tarp back on getting it ready for the next big one. The Mesequel Electric winner of the 1968 Atomic Cup hydroplane race here at the